So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So what I'm currently sitting here is the Dongfang Reach 6 250 and 450. The 450, we will get back to that once I return this unit for that test drive. So this is a little bit weird for me because this is an electric pickup truck. So literally, you know, all know me, I was a former pickup truck owner and driving this is actually surreal because it's electric, there's no diesel, sound nothing here whatsoever. So this one produces 163 horsepower and 420 newton meters of torque. And this has a total range of 350 kilometers, hence the name itself. So yet again, 450, 450 kilometers range. And this one has a top speed of 90 kilometers per hour. It's an electric pickup truck. This as well is based on the Nissan Avara. So as you can see, the rear taillights, they look exactly the same. And as well, just going out here of the car park, yeah again it's pretty surreal you can feel the weight of it of course because this is an electric what pickup truck you can see literally the electric motors itself at the rear so remember this is only rear wheel drive even though all of the motors are there in front and as well driving this thing as well i'm just in eco mode the steering is really really heavy so let's try sport mode later on so literally as well every door card over here looks very very similar like with the navar and then the rest of it here is pretty much the same here too as well here you have a digital instrument cluster and your infotainment system here sadly there's no apple carplay and android auto however though at least there's bluetooth mirror link and as well unlike some other pickup trucks at least you have here an avm system by your 360 degree camera i mean it's low res but at least there is so here now just need come on and just throw it oh all right so Elias 2 with the numbers 161 horsepower and 450 newton meters of torque it's literally on par with the diesel counterparts of this class of pickup trucks but being an electric um, pickup itself this one's a little bit what more eager to put this power down yet again with the characteristics of uh, electric vehicles yeah this puts its torque down instantly so here now sport mode i mean there's a delay but once you oh wow so as well i did notice now the the sting feel even though you're an econ sport it's still pretty much the same so a little bit weird to being an electric pickup truck there's nothing much here in the center console it's all buttons here but still it's good to know you have brake region over here so remember to this reach 6 350 that's a bit of a tongue twister this does not have auto hold but the 450 has which i'll show you later on so yeah here's your air conditioning vents usb ports 12 volt socket it's pretty much conventional like with the pickup truck so steering wheel here you have your full connectivity buttons and cruise control buttons here on the right side which is very good so yeah pretty standard here for a pickup truck here yet again and the seat in the back there's not much going on over there it's not even a central armrest however those space there hence this is based on a nissan navara it's exactly the same too so yeah a little bit honest here with the this dongfang yeah, there's a lot of plastics here and there but I'm willing to forgive it because it's a bit of a quirky thing that this is an electric pickup truck. So first impressions too, since this being a 4x2 pickup truck. Okay, the sting even though the sting feel may be a bit heavy, but the weight of, you can feel the weight here and there, but it's actually not so bad to drive. I mean here, NVH2, okay, surprisingly pretty good too. I mean, I'm just here running 50 kilometers per hour and actually not not much going on there there's just a little bit of tire noise but then again it's not so bad and overtaking once you get going wow and then paddling of course there is it's a pickup truck which is given wow but that's at least even though this is somewhat a heavy car there's that security of being jeez wow right so if you're a long constant viewer of my channel you know i just literally came from a came from a pickup land out unit wow this is something <laughs> this dongfeng reach 6 is something i actually do want to borrow this for a couple of days to see what it's like living with an electric pickup truck so the diving modes here there are only two and it's pretty hilarious seeing a pickup truck with a swivel wheel okay eco yeah there's tends to be a bit of a delay i mean here i'll just floor it then it goes i mean sport mode does the same but it's a bit eager to put its power down even more here sport mode okay that's less delay now that's pretty weird uh drive, driving of electric pickup like you, there's no yet again as i said earlier there's no diesel droning whatever and you can just hear literally the electric motor itself 
and then brakes too since I'm just at level one I'm just level one actually the brakes actually feel much more or less like with every other common pickup like with a diesel engine but still the stopping power of this is pretty what pretty insane so here too uh, kilowatt hour reading 10 10 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers I'm not sure if that's good I just put it here on screen but at the same time 350 kilometers range I don't think that's bad at all. So as well, the charging part of this, this one, as well being a Chinese car, this one's GBT2. So that's exactly the same like with the other electric car and first so far on my channel, the WMW5. So you can charge this at EQ Oil Edsa. So yeah, pretty good too. I'm very curious with the 450 though since that has way more range. This is what I'm really curious about. Suspension test since this is an electric pickup. Okay, despite again the added weight because of the electric motors and actually just rides like with every other pickup. Yes, the suspension is a li little bit firmer than usual but it's still no means an, un an uncomfortable car. But yeah, the torque of this is pretty much insane. Yeah, but although I will need pick a bit, the top speed is only 90 km per hour since the national speed limit is 100 km per hour. But I think that's just to save the battery depletion and to save range. So yeah, that's pretty much it here with this with 6 to 50. It's a bit of a tongue twister. So one more time. <laughs> right.